just to trust you, oh Lord. We open our hearts and we praise you, Lord. By your cross you save the world. Forgive us our sins, have mercy on us. Teach us to trust you, O Lord. We come to you on this day. With faith we kneel down to pray. Wash us from our guilt and free us from our sins. Teach us to trust you, O Lord. to trust you, O Lord. Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Hosanna in the highest. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, wherever you are at this moment, you are there, and God is there. In a special way, today, Palm Sunday, as we begin the Holy Week, may God be truly and really present wherever we are. As we welcome our King, as we honor Him, and thank Him with grateful hearts. With all faith and devotion, let us remember His triumphant entry into the city of our salvation, following His footsteps now, all throughout this week. May we become partakers of the cross and may also share in the resurrection. We shall now bless the palms. You who have whatever, if you have no palms, I would like to ask you to open the palm of your hands. For this is what it means to surrender our hearts to praise God with our palms, with our hearts, with our hands. Let this be a moment too of blessing for all of us now as we open a palm of our hands and our hearts to God and wave now to honor the Lord our God. Almighty ever-living God, sanctify these branches, these palms, these hearts, with your blessings, that we who follow Christ the King in exaltation may reach eternal Jerusalem, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Sana. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. <clears throat> when Jesus and his disciples drew near to Jerusalem, the Bethpage and Bethany, at the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village opposite you. And immediately on entering it, 
you will find a cold fetter on which no one has ever sat. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone should say to you, Why are you doing this? Reply, The master has need of it and will send it back here at once. So they went off and found the colt tethered at the gate outside on the street, and they untied it. Some of the bystanders said to them, What are you doing, untying the colt? They answered them just as Jesus had told them do, and they permitted them to do it. So they brought the call to Jesus and put their cloaks over it, and he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, and others spread leafy branches that they had cut from the fields. Those preceded him as well as those following kept crying out, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that is to come. Hosanna in the highest. Beloved, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Be seated for a short while, sisters and brothers. This is our second Holy Week in the pandemic. Sana, yung third Holy Week in the pandemic ay hindi na po. Sana by next year. Sana, Hosanna. Siguro yan ang ibig sabihin din ngayon yung Hosanna. Hosanna nga, Panginoon. Yung next year, hindi na pandemic ang Holy Week. Hosanna po, tapos na po. Hosanna. At sana po, pagkatapos ng pinagdaanan natin, nagbago na tayo. We have been purified, we have been humbled, we have become more generous and kind and closer to God, closer to one another. Hosanna. Hosanna all. Maybe that's what it is. This is uh, Palm Sunday. Simply, Hosanna, Panginoon. Sana po. Sana po matapos ng pandemic na ito. Hosanna po, Panginoon. Sana po will not be infected by the virus. At sana po, sana ho, ho sana, we learn the lessons you want us to learn from this pandemic situation. It's one question. Anong winawagay mo? Winawagay guay mo? What are you, you know, showing to the world? Hey, you're showing, you're waving to the world. Some people, please think about this. You, I, as we come to realize the humility of our Lord, what are we waving? What are we showing off to other people? My pera ako eh. Money, hey, I have the money, hey. Ang dami pong ganun. Even without showing it all, but that's the bottom line for them. I am more money than you. Mahirap po lumapit kay Lord kung yan ang winawagayway mo, puno ka ng pera. Some people, winawagayway na, oh, ako makapangiran. I have the power in my hands. I am in control of everything and everyone. I can control all of you. When that gets to your hands, power, it's hard to really 
hold on to the Lord. Mga bisyo natin, hindi natin mabitaw-bitawan. Uh, relationships, whatever. Oh, my titles, my plaques. Meron ngayon ko, eh, hindi nahalata, bagong rilo niya. Sabi niya, may isang pari daw, the Lord be with you. <laughs> ano pa pala yan, may mga pinapakita niyo. You know, this thing, the Holy Week should remind us now, look, if you really want to give praise to God, your hands must be empty. You cannot hold on to God because your hands are so full of things and people that you don't let go. How can you hold on to God when your hands are cleansed like this? Your fists are cleansed. It's only when you really open and say, Lord, then you can experience. You can even embrace God. Ngayon pong pandemic, ang dami po talaga. Walang wala na po. And maybe now, hopefully, we realize that when we are so attached to things or to people, it's so hard to really embrace our God and praise our God. Hosanna. Praise the Lord. Thank you. At Hosanna. Sana all. Sisters and brothers, the Holy Week, there's only one message of the whole Holy Week. For God so loved you and me that He gave us His only begotten Son who suffered so much, died, and rose again for you and for me that we will have eternal life. Let's spend this Holy Week with deep gratitude and deep humility to our God. As we proceed now in the Eucharist, Eucharistine Thanksgiving. Amen, Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who was an example of humility for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross. Graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering and so merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and, have, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who pluck my beard, my face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? All who see me scoff at me. They mock me with parted lips. They wag their heads. He relied on the Lord. 
let him deliver him. Let him rescue him if he loves him. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Indeed, many dogs surround me. A pack of evildoers closes in upon me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? They divide my garments among them, and for my vesture they cast lots. But you, O Lord, be not far from me. O my help, hasten to aid me. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? I will proclaim your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, give glory to him. Revere him, all you descendants of Israel. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was not in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus is the Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to According to Matthew. As soon as morning came, the chief priest with the elders and the scribes, that is, the whole Sadhedrin, held a council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and hand him, handed him over to Pilate. Pilate questioned him. Are you the king of the Jews? He said to him in reply, You say so. The chief priests accused him of many things. Again, Pilate questioned him. Have you no answer? See how many things they accuse you of. Jesus gave him no further answer, so that Pilate was amazed. Now, on the occasion of the feast, he used to release to them one prisoner whom they requested. A man called Barabbas was then in prison along with the rebels who had committed murder in a rebellion. The crowd came forward and began to ask him to do for them as he was accustomed. Pilate answered, Do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? For he knew that it was out of envy that the chief priest had handed him over. But the chief priest stirred up the crowd to have him release Barabbas for them instead. Pilate again said to them in reply, Then what do you want me to do with the man you call the king of the Jews? They shouted again. 
Crucify him. Pilate said to them, Why? What evil has he done? They only shouted the louder, Crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas to them. And after he had Jesus scourged, handed him over to be crucified. The soldiers led him away inside the palace, that is, the praetorium, and assembled the whole cohort. They clothed him in purple and waving a crown of thorns, placed it on him. They began to salute him with, Hail, King of the Jews! And kept striking his head with their reed and spitting upon him. They knelt before him, in homage. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the purple cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and led him out to crucify him. They pierced into service a passerby, Simon, a Cyrenian who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. They brought him to the place of Golgotha, which is translated place of the skull. They gave him wine, drug with mirror, but he did not take it. Then they crucified him and divided his garments by casting lots for them to see what each should take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription of the charge against him read, the king of the Jews, with him, they crucified two revolutionaries, one on his right and one on his left. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, Aha, you who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself by coming down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priest with the scribes mocked him among themselves and said, He saved others, he cannot save himself. Let the Christ, the King of Israel, come down now from the cross that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also kept abusing him. At noon darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And at three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lema sabachthani, which is translated, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of the bystanders who heard it said, Look, he is calling Elijah. One of them ran, soak a sponge with wine, put it on a reed, and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see if Elijah comes to take him down. Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. The veil of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. When the centurion who stood facing him saw how he breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man was the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, Palm Sunday. Sana ito na ang huling Palm Sunday in the pandemic. Sana po next year ay COVID-free na po. We keep praying, we keep hoping po. You know, it just struck me, yung Hosanna is a praise, right? Hosanna, praise the Lord. Ang galing ng Pilipino eh. Pag naghusana siya, pero mayroon na rin, mayroon na rin kadugtong na hinihingi sana. Yun. Pinoy, pinagsama na yung praise at saka yung petition. Subukan po niyan. Every time you pray for something, Hosanna, 
Ayun. Pinuri mo na ang Diyos sa mga hirap mo until you saying, I praise you at sana po. Maybe that's a good attitude. In fact, many times, we are asked to bring our petitions in terms of praise. Some people say, Lord, salamat Lord at gagaling na ako. Yun, beautiful, no? Hindi yung Lord, pagaliin mo ko. Siyempre po, pero mas maganda po ang petition na punong-puno ng pag-asa, pagmamahal at pagtitiwala kay Lord. Maybe you can add that in your prayer journey. It's always saying, Hosanna, Lord, sana po matapos na ang COVID-19 na ito. Pinuri na natin ang Lord, humingi pa tayo kay Lord. Magaling ang Pilipino sa kombinasyon. And dear friends, what is the Holy Week? It's a walk. Holy Week walk. Paglalakad po, paglalakbay. It's a walk with Jesus on His way of the cross. Speaking of walk, meron po kong nadinig na kwento. This man, old man, 75, oh, he's not old, but healthy, married for what, 50 years? And he was asked, what's your secret? You look so healthy and... I'll tell you the secret. Years ago, when we got married, we made a deal with my wife that anyone who makes a mistake, the punishment is to walk five kilometers. <laughs> so, what do you mean, sabi ng nagtanong? Well, almost every day I make mistake. So I walk five kilometers every day. Uh, how? Yeah, okay, Lolo, but how about your wife? She's also healthy. Yeah, whenever I walk, she follows me to make sure that I don't get lost or I don't go anywhere. <laughs> Maybe this is what the Holy Week is all about, walking with the Lord, following Him, so that, so that we don't get lost or we don't go somewhere else. Mga kapatid, it's time to come home. Come home. Come home to God's heart. Another story also that hit me is uh, this man, they, had a, they found a stray cat. I mean, I, yung mayroong punta sa bahay nila. And they could not get rid of it. So one day the man said, Alam ko na, I'll bring this cat to the forest. Naging nasa sako. And then pagdating sa forest, put the cat. Goodbye. You know, what happened in the end? He was seen coming back with the cat. They asked, you brought the cat there? Tapos bumalik. Kasama mo. Because sabi niya, when I was in the forest, I did not know any more where to go. You know what helped me? The stray cat led me back to the home. Maybe a good reminder din po, even when we go astray, there is a reason God will make a way that we can still come home to His heart. Sisters and brothers, maligaya, makahulugan na homecoming. Coming home to God's heart. Right now, and dami po tayong iniisip kung ano-ano. Ang dami po tayong mga aburido. Hanggang kailan kaya ito? Okay ba yung vaccine? Eh, kailan matatapos? Ang dami po. Especially this Holy Week, let us walk closely with the Lord. Scaring His cross. You know why? If you don't walk close to somebody, you cannot hear. Malayo ka lang, pakaway-kaway ka lang, hindi mo nadidinig. Hindi mo nadidinig. So to this whole week especially, will you please listen? Listen closely to what the Lord 
wants to tell you, wants to tell me. Listen, please. Many times, even in our prayer, we don't listen. Parang we dump all our devotions, tayo la palagi, salita ng salita, and we hardly listen. When was the last time you listened to the sound of silence? So walk closely so that you can listen to God. Okay? And why do you walk closely to somebody with somebody? So that you can whisper to that person what you're going through in you. Your hopes, your fears, your dream, dreams, your, your sins. Yes, please. Let's bring to the Lord all our fears, our impatience, our hopelessness, even depressions. Holy Week. Grabe na naman po ang surge, COVID-19 cases. You know, I live here near St. Luke's Hospital. These past two weeks, there have been more frequent ambulance sirens passing through, passing by. Yeah, that's what's happening. That's why we're, this Holy Week, marami raw checkpoint. Kaya maraming mahuhuli. Holy Week. Hmm. But you know, think about it. To be mahuli ka, you know what Holy Week is all about? Yung mahuli ka na ni Lord. Father, holy ako eh. Who, who, what is a holy person? Father, madasalin ako. I'm holy, holy. Ay, nako. Marami pong madasalin na hindi naman po. Hindi pa rin huli ng Diyos eh. Ibig sabihin, may mga agenda pa siya, matapang pa siya, masungit pa siya, pasaway pa siya. Uncaring. Huli ka na ng Diyos kung nahuli ka na. Yung sabi mo, Lord, kayo na pong bahala. Wala na po akong agenda. Wala na po akong kwan. Basta... Okay po, basta I'm, I'm with you. Kung masabi na po natin yan, huli ka na, surrender ka na. So one thing I'd like to ask the Holy Week is, sisters and brothers, one reflection is, what areas of my life that still needs to be healed by the Lord? Please take time. Kanya-kanya po tayo kasi kwan eh. May mga bagay sa buhay natin na hindi pa natin talagang sinuko sa ating Panginoong Diyos. Could be our, you know, mga ugaling masama, mga bad habits, bad relationships, ba bad thoughts, etc. Lord, easily pride, <laughs> impatience, being unkind, selfish. So this Holy Week, magpahuli na tayo kay Lord. I surrender. Huli na po ako, Panginoon. Hands up. Hands up na po ako. And number two, perhaps for our reflection, uh, what have I really learned from this pandemic situation? Isang taon na po, ano nang natutunan natin? What have we really learned? as individuals, as Christians, as Filipinos, or as a person. Kasi po, if we haven't learned nothing at all, sayang. This pandemic is a time for purification. Sana po, sana all. So this Holy Week, Tell the Lord, whisper to Him. Malapit ka naman eh. Pwede mong ibulong, Lord. Uh, ito pong natutunan ko. Talk with the Lord, in other words. And number three, how do I see Christ in the people around me? Many of us got stuck with people. <laughs> like it or not. Stuck na tayo, quarantine na tayo. But do I see Christ in them? Do I really experience, do I really show Christ? Kasi mga iba, I can love the whole world, Lord, but not this person beside me. 
Ganun po tayo. So, start wherever you are. Maybe, having said that, let's all make a resolve to love more, go the extra mile, give the extra smile. And please, start in your family, but let it overflow. Ang dami pong mga taong hirap na hirap na po. Sisters and brothers, one with you in this very special time of the year, the Holy Week. Let us all make it holy. Sana mahuli. Mahuli ka ng Panginoon. At hindi ang virus ang huhuli sa iyo. At sana, go home to God. And please be careful bago huli ng lahat. So may, may suggest to these uh, tasks, every one of us, Holy Week or not, let's focus on these four tasks that we all can do. Number one, sisters and brothers, each one of us, strengthen your immunity. Your immunity to the virus. What does it mean? Eat healthy, uh, think happy, because yeah, that's the best way to prevent that. Immunity. You have a checkup and all that. Because pag mahina immunity, tatamaan talaga tayo. So each one of us, please, strengthen your immunity. Number two, strengthen your spirituality. Let each one of us really, really, really come to the Lord. Yes, pray more. Listen to God more. Please continue that road. I must be strong in my spirituality para hindi ako maging negastar, hindi ako madepressed, hindi ako maging matapang, masungit. And I can be generous. And I will not be afraid. Number three, strengthen your family. Now is the time to really build that family, including our relationships. Relationships. And third, fourth, strengthen community. That we build up one another, that we help one another. Dinom pwedeng panay ka lang immunity mo at family mo at wala kang pakialam sa nangyayari. No. And let's go further. Strengthen our country, especially this time. Parang ang daming signals na magulo na, no, no, let's not give up on each other. Let's, let's continue to be strong. Please. So this po, mga task nating lahat. Maraming salamat po, one with you in our journey to God's heart, especially in this, the holiest of all weeks, the Holy Week. And please remember this. I, I gave a Zoom mass to what uh, uh, dermatologist association and cosmetologist. Iba yung cosmetology yung nagme-makeup sa kano. Okay. Anyway, so I talk about beauty. And maybe for our reflection, what is true beauty? Let's go to the acronym, huh? B E A U T Y. So now we all become beauty, beautiful to our God. B is, first concept of beauty is beautiful body. Well, more, more, maybe better, healthy body. But let's put that beautiful body. Mm. Maram, marami dyan, magaling dyan. Yung palang cellphone, pwede rin palang gawing pang mirror ng iba, no? Nagulat ako, ginano niya, oh, yung mukha niya, gumagano na siya. Wow. Beautiful body. E, beautiful emotions. That's where real beauty is. That you don't have hatred, you don't have nega thoughts, nega star. Beauty nga, pero nega star ka naman. Lord, cleanse us. Pray for that. 
I want beautiful emotions from now on. Kung negative emotions, dump it, delete it right away. It's not good for you. Hatred, for example, those who don't forgive, ang hirap yan. It's like acid in your heart, 24 hours a day, even while you are sleeping. Maawa ka sa sarili mo, kapatid. Mag-forgive ka na. That's why the Lord said, forgive. That you can have true joy. Beautiful emotions. Anong susunod? A. Beautiful actions. Because dapat may bunga. What are the beautiful actions? You know that. Simple things like saying good things, encouragement. Oh, start in your home. Your family, mga anak niya, positive, wag na pong nega. Mga kasambahay, mga kasama natin. My God, we have to say thank you to them. Salamat. Little things like those. Beautiful actions. Generosity. B-E-A-U. Beautiful understanding. Sana God gives us an understanding that is kind. That is not judgmental. That is not parang pessimistic. For me, go back to what the Lord says. Lean not on your own understanding. When all these things happen in the world, you listen, Lord, anong take po niyo nito? Mm. And back to St. Francis. Help me to seek not so much to be understood, but to understand. Not to seek to be loved, but to love. That kind of conversion, Sana. T, I don't know, call it beautiful temper. You know, pag nagagalit po tayo, ang nagagalit pumapangit, Tama ba yun? Parang, even the expression in the face, it comes out. So, anger is a tool of the evil one to distract us from truly loving God. Whatever reasons for your anger, you ask the Lord, Lord, remove anger in my heart. Sana wag na po kong high blood. Mataas ang high blood. Again, the key is humility. And Why? You know what is really beautiful? Who is really beautiful? The one who can say to the Lord, Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hindi ko po maintindihan, but yes, Lord. Opo, thy will be done. You know who is a beautiful woman? Mama Mary. The woman who said, Yes. Sisters and brothers, I pray for all of us to have a Meaningful, peaceful, and beautiful Holy Week. Come Holy Spirit, that what I have preached, I preach in my heart, and that people receive them with their heart. Come Holy Spirit. Amen. We now profess our faith as we pray. I believe in, in God, one, in the, God Father, the Father, the Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived with the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Prayer of the faithful, let us pray to our Lord, our God, who will, that all human beings be saved through the passion, death, and resurrection of His Son, Jesus Christ. We pray. 
Through the passion of Christ, listen to our prayer. Through the passion of Christ, listen to our prayer. May the Pope, bishops, priests, and deacons continue to profess their faith in God in an indifferent and sometimes hostile world. We pray. Through the passion of Christ, listen to our prayer. May government and civil leaders follow the example of Christ, who came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life for the good of the people. We pray. Through the passion of Christ, listen to our prayer. May we support the Alay Kapwa program as our way of responding to the challenges of restoring social justice and helping the weak and the needy. We pray. Through the passion of Christ, listen to our prayer. May those who continue to crucify Jesus by acts of violence against their brothers and sisters be led to the road of repentance and atone for the evils they have done. We pray. Through the passion of Christ, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and their personal intentions. Father, look tenderly on your children as you follow Christ in the joy of his entrance to Jerusalem, as well as in the pains of his sacrifice on Calvary. May we be worthy to enter your kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. our sacrifice, our thanksgiving, may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. With the passion of your only begotten Son, Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that though we do not merit by our own deeds, Yet by this sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them, them up to the Lord. Let us joyfully give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and, and just. To be right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ the Lord. For though innocent, he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death has washed away our sins and his resurrection has purchased our justification. So with all the angels and the saints, in joyful celebration, we too acclaim. 
Holy, 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 holy Lord. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Your brothers and sisters, wherever you are this moment, whatever you're going through, the Lord Jesus is with you, blessing you with his loving and healing presence in the Eucharist. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ to be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with our Pope Francis, our Nestor Bishop, all the bishops, the clergy, missionaries, and religious all over the world. Remember too, Lord, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. The victims of COVID-19, especially frontliners, health workers who risk, sacrifice their lives so that others may live. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Sisters and brothers, what is this Holy Week all about? God so loved the world, the Father so loved the world, He gave us His only begotten Son, who suffered so much, died and rose again, so that we will have eternal life. Let us now surrender everything, everyone, to God, our loving Father.
grant us peace, keep us free from sin, protect us from all anxieties as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, O God, but on the faith of your church. Grant us that peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with, with your spirit. Come Sunday, let's reach out to one another. Peace be with you. With the palm of our hands. Peace be with you. Thank you, Lord. Peace be with you. Thank you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Bow your heads in prayer, sisters and brothers. Wherever you are, the Lord Jesus is with you. Thank you, Lord. Sorry, Lord. Help us, Lord. Salamat po. Patawad po, Panginoon. Patulong po, Panginoon. Mahal ka namin, Panginoon. Salamat sa pagmamahal po niyo. Sa amin. The Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, happy and grateful are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. act of a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. I invite you now to put your right hand over your heart, just close your eyes, and feel the presence, the embrace of our God, our Lord Jesus, who suffered so much for you and for me. She also asked our Mother Mary to embrace each one of us, the people in our hearts, especially members of the family who need the healing. Mga may karamdaman. Panginoon, dami pong nagkakasakit. Dami pong namamatay. Hindi po namin maintindihan. Kami po'y lumalapit, humihingi ng tulong at awa po sa inyo. Kayo po ang aming pag-asa. Jesus, I trust in you. Mama Mary, I love you. Jesus, I trust in you. Mama Mary, I love you. Jesus, I trust in you. Mama Mary, I love you. Panginoon, ang mga mahal namin sa buhay, huwag po yung silang pababayaan. Alam po namin, mahal niyo sila. 
at sana po kami, Lord, give us hope. Help us not to be discouraged. Help us not to give up. Help us not to give up on ourselves. Not to give up on others. And help us not to give up on you, Lord. Stay with us, Lord. Especially this Holy Week. Walk with us. We walk with you. And lead us home. May we walk closely with you. So that we can really listen to you and so that we can truly whisper our love for you, our cares, our problems, and whisper again to you, thank you, because by your cross and resurrection, you have redeemed the world. Amen. 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 Ang lalo na po yung mga hirap na hirap na. Kapatid, kapit lang po tayo. Keep trusting. Keep believing. Amen. So, I would like to thank Father June Perez and Father uh, Carlos Rapadas, SBDs, for decorating the chapel. So thank you again. We'll have a little harana after the Mass. Stay afloat. God bless us all. Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son, you have brought us to hope for what we believe. So by his resurrection, you may lead us to where you call. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lord, as we bow our heads before you, look upon us, this family for whom the Lord Jesus did not hesitate to be delivered into the hands of the wicked and submit to the agony of the cross. Who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace to praise and thank the Lord and really listen to Him, especially this Holy Week. Thanks, Thanks be to God.